Hi, it's Mark from CEM Engineering and Energy Radio, here with this week's Energy News Update. In this week's headlines, Alberta sets new electricity usage record during deep freeze. Six nations partner in major energy storage project. Lycycle, North America's largest lithium-ion battery resource recycling company, to list on the New York Stock Exchange through transaction with Peridot Acquisition Corp. Emission-free renewable power generation can improve China's air quality. Jaguar Land Rover reveals plans for net zero of all electric models. We're going to head over to Lisa Barber, my colleague, for this week's top story. Thank you, Mark, and welcome to this week's edition of Energy News. 3M Company plans to spend a billion dollars this year at emissions in its operations by 2050, joining the growing ranks of companies pledging to curb emissions linked to climate change. This would eliminate the roughly 4 million tons of carbon dioxide emitted by more than 200 manufacturing sites and other locations globally in 2019, plus another 1.3 million tons tied to energy purchased by the company. Combined, those emissions are roughly equivalent to the annual greenhouse gas emissions of nearly 1.2 million passenger cars. In other news, as part of the Government of Canada's commitment to review the current federal output-based pricing system regulations, otherwise known as the OBPS, in 2022, Environment and Climate Change Canada has released a paper titled Review of the Federal Output-Based Pricing System Regulations. The federal OBPS places a price on carbon for large industry and is designed to ensure there is a price incentive for industrial emitters to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions while spurring innovation and maintaining competitiveness. The Environment and Climate Change Canada's review will seek input on various parts of the regulations, so comments and feedback on the discussion paper are due by March 29, 2021, and a webinar will also be hosted on Thursday, March 11, 2021, between 1 and 2 p.m. Eastern Time for those that are interested in learning more. My name is Lisa Barber, and this was this week's edition of Energy News. Thank you very much, and back to you, Mark. To learn about the finer details of these stories, check out our LinkedIn profile. All of the articles will be posted there. That's it for this edition of Energy News, and until next time, power your purpose.